What's going on guys? Cubologist here and today I'm going to show you how to do this. Alright guys, so as you can tell by the title and the intro, what we're going to be covering today is the sexy J perm. Now all that is is an alternative algorithm to the JA permutation, uh, the one where you switch these two corners and these two edges and you have this 3x1 bar in front and 2x1 bar on the side. Now a lot of you probably already know about this, but for those who don't, I think it's really interesting and I really like the finger tricks. So uh, this case, as you guys probably know, um, most people use this algorithm and it's pretty quick and I don't mind it but those R prime and L prime moves put together they really throw me off and the way that I've found to do it I actually found this on a German tutorial but I couldn't find a good English one so I thought I would do one for you guys now let me show you this in slow motion and I'll tell you the algorithm then I can show you how to execute it so what you do for this case is you do you put the three by one block on the right you do r prime u2 r u r prime z rotation r2 prime u r prime d r u prime now i know that looks pretty complicated but it's actually really simple let me show you guys how i do this um, I'm still not that good at it. I lock up on it a lot, but um, I've only been doing it for a day now, so I think you can get really fast. Uh, let's see here. Now, the way you hold the cube to start this is put your right hand on the side with this index finger pushing on this side, or at least placed on this side, not pushing. So the way you normally hold it to do an R prime is to hold it in the back, but put it right here. So you do R prime, then you push for this U2 and your thumb's going to be in position down here to do the R. Your finger's still in place right here. So you do U, R prime. Then you do a Z rotation. Grab with your thumb, R2, U, R prime, D, R. Then push with your thumb, U prime. I just think it's really cool. It looks really good and it actually flows really well. Now something I've found to make this a little quicker is when you're doing the, let's see, you do R prime U2 R U R prime. Now while you're doing that R U R prime, I like to go ahead and be doing that Z rotation. So when I get done with that R prime, I can just go ahead and grab with my thumb for the R2 prime u r prime d r u prime and here's how it looks see i've already done the z rotation so i don't have to wait right here i'm doing the z all right guys well that's just a quick video i wanted to show you how to hold the cube and how to do that sexy j perm just because when i learned it i was really happy and i wanted to be able to share it with you guys if you already knew about it i'm sorry but if you didn't it's something new and i thought it was really really cool so um let me know down in the comments if you're actually going to adapt this into your solves i know i hated the standard ja perm so this is something i might do but thanks for watching guys and i hope to see you soon uh stay tuned actually this week there might be an update on the giveaway uh, i think there's been some changes made so i'll see you guys soon and thanks for watching bye What's going on guys, Cubologist here again, and today I'm going to show you how to do this. Not that, you don't want to do that.